Hello, here's a quick way to deploy a Docker image to an Azure container instance. Let's create a new web API. New web API, the name Azure CI test. Cool, let's navigate into our directory. Let's show the files. Here they are. Let's run our application. .NET run. Let's navigate to localhost on port 5134 to test it out. Of course, it'll show 404 not found because the endpoint is where the forecast. Cool. Here's our endpoint. It returns our weather forecast. Perfect. If we say forward slash swagger. We have a swagger page and then in our swagger page you can try it out and execute it try it out and execute it okay let's deploy it okay let's create our azure container registry navigate to the azure portal through portal.azure.com if you don't have a free account just create one and get started in the search bar just search for container registries click on the container registry button Let's create a new container registry. Select your resource group. Give your container registry a name. Azure Container Registry Mavijo Software Test 001. Cool. Select your region closer to your client base. SKU, just going to go with basic network text. Let's create it. Validation passed. Create. Okay, after the deployment is complete, let's go to our Azure Container Registry. On the left, if you navigate to repositories, you'll notice that we don't have any repositories yet. Back in our file explorer, let's quickly create an sp.net docker file. In Visual Studio Code, just create a new docker file. We're going to use the SDK to actually build our application. And after building our application, we're going to use the base images binaries to create our final image. Microsoft Container Registry. let's set our work directory copy all our source files into the image publish and then for our final image going to use the runtime So the work directory to app and then copy what we published from our build stage we're going to copy from our app out directory because we did publish to the output directory <clears throat> from our working directory being slash app to the current app directory Remember to expose port 80. Let's check our Docker images on the system. They only have Redis. Let's build our new image. Right, it's done. Let's port forward port 80 from the container to port 8080 on our local system. Docker images first. Copy the image ID. Let's execute the Docker container with the specified image. Port forward local first and then container and the container ID. The order is important here. Okay, let's navigate to port 8080 on our local machine. 404 because we don't have anything on our route and we don't have Swagger in production. We say Swagger, it'll also give a 404. 
so we need weather forecast our endpoint there we go here are our results so our endpoint is working so our docker file works let's deploy it Control c to stop our application first and foremost we can see that our docker image doesn't have a tag let's tag it copy the image id docker tag this image with the prefix should always be our azure container registries url in our azure portal go to overview copy the login server paste it there slash azure ci test colon we can give it a tag 0 0.0.1 enter if we run docker images again you'll see that our docker image now is a proper name and tag now we are ready to push this particular image the way we do that is that we just perform a docker push copy the repository name docker push shift insert paste and then the tag is version 1.0.0.1 enter please note that this requires a great as i was mentioning actually this requires a docker login docker login and then the login server that you'll find in azure is the login server just copy the login server in the azure portal paste it the username is in access keys allow the admin user copy the user paste it the password just copy it here paste it enter Our login has succeeded as we can see here right we're going to docker push again docker push docker push docker push docker push sounds like a song which is not so soothing remember to subscribe while it's pushing our docker image to our jaw container registry now that the push is done let's go to our azure portal on the left hand pane let's go to repositories we'll see that our container image has been pushed let's click on it here's our revision in our revision if we want to start this particular image immediately we can just go to the dots here click on run instance enter the instance name ci mavicho software it's a linux image so that's the os type everything looks okay number of cores everything is okay public ip address definitely yes port 80 definitely yes create After the deployment of our container instance is done, go to resource. You'll see a public IP address here. Copy it. Go to a new tab instead of localhost, just paste it. And we don't need port 8080. We just it'll run automatically on port 80. Enter. <laughs> there we go we have our application running in a docker container in azure just like that let's modify our application and push our image in our controllers our weather forecast controller uh, let's see what we can change here in summary we can just provide the server name environment.machine name there we go include the using here using system okay save docker build we can specify a tag instead of doing it all over again we can copy the previous tag 
paste it and change the version to 02 enter let's run docker images as we can see our tag is created let's push our tag enter the push has succeeded let's go through the portal as we can see here's our tag before we deploy the new tag let's just refresh the old container instance as you can see, it's still running. Let's deploy the new Docker image. Select your resource group, the name. Yeah, virtual software. Public IP address, of course. Port 80, create. After the deployment is completed, let's go to the resource. As always, go to the IP address, copy it. New tab, paste the IP address, forward slash weather forecast. Enter. There it is. Let's zoom in a bit. And as we can see, here's our summary. Now our summary contains our host name. So we've successfully changed it. The other instance is still running. And it's actually showing weather information. So that's how easy it is to deploy your Docker images into an Azure container registry and run that container as a container instance. Remember to subscribe to the channel, guys. I see 97.2% of you are watching the videos but not subscribing. Do the right thing. Cheers.